Today we're going to talk about how to delete data from our tables using SQL code. And this is also something that you're going to find useful when we write PHP code. In fact, all the SQL code we're going to write inside PHP MyAdmin for these couple of exercises, you will find useful using PHP code. So I'm just going to say it again. You need to memorize these codes because we will be using it in the future. So having said that, let's actually go ahead and make sure we have our PHP lessons data bit chosen and go into the SQL tab up here in the top. Now in here, we're going to go ahead and delete our information from our post table. As you guys can see, we do actually still have our, uh, what do you call it, our row in here, where we have an ID as one, subject, this is a test, content, this is the content, and then we have a date. So we're gonna go ahead and delete this row so we have no rows left inside our database table. So going back to the SQL coding part, let's go ahead and write delete, space, from, space, and then we need to tell it what kind of table we want to delete from. Now in this case, we're deleting from posts. And then I'm gonna go ahead and say enter to go to the next line. And again, you could just write space and write where if you wanted to, but just so it looks a bit nicer, I'm gonna put it down to the next line. Where, space, and then we need to tell it where we want to delete from. Again, if we do actually have many different types of posts inside our database table, then we might not want to delete all of them because right now this would actually delete everything from posts and we don't want that. So let's actually go ahead and delete where ID is equal to one. So now if I do actually go ahead and run this, you guys can see one row deleted. If I go back into my posts, you guys can see we have no posts left. So this is the basic way to delete stuff inside the database. And in the next episode, we're gonna talk about one more thing, which is called order by. And after we talked about that, we'll actually start talking about how to actually do stuff with PHP code to run this SQL code inside the database without having to go into the database and do this. So after we've done that episode, we can actually start talking about creating a login system. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.